Hey guys, my name is Jordan. I'm here at New Camp, and today we're going to be going over some of the functions of the Jensen radio system. Here on the face of the Jensen radio, we have our power button, which brings the radio out of sleep mode. In the top row, we have our AM FM button for controlling the radio, the Bluetooth and USB button for controlling the Bluetooth and also the USB port, the HDMI and auxiliary button for controlling the HDMI port and the rear auxiliary in. We've got a button for setting the time. And then two zone buttons for if your camper has multiple audio zones. You can use these to turn the speakers on and off. We've got volume buttons on the left for turning up and down the volume. We have seek buttons here on the right, and these will also be your skip buttons whenever you're in Bluetooth mode. Here on the bottom row, we've got our radio presets. And some of these also serve a dual function. For example, this first button will be your play and your pause button. We also have this HDMI port on the face of the radio. This will pass HDMI straight through to the television in your camper. On the right, we have a USB port. You can use this to play MP3s off of a flash drive. However, if you want to play music off your phone, you will not be able to use the USB port. You will need to connect the phone over Bluetooth. In the center, we do have a recessed reset button. You can use a paper clip or a pin to press that if um, you mess up your settings and need to reset that back to factory default. If you'd like to connect your phone over Bluetooth to the radio, you'll want to press the Bluetooth button to put it here into Bluetooth mode. Go ahead and press the BT slash USB button and hold it in order to begin the pairing. Once you're in this mode, you can pull up your Bluetooth settings on your phone and connect to it like any other Bluetooth device. If you have an HDMI device plugged into your HDMI port, you can press the HDMI slash aux button until you're at the HDMI in screen. This will pass the audio from the HDMI device through the radio speakers. Next, we have our auxiliary in feature. This feature relates to how the television audio is played. You can use this in order to send audio from the television to the radio. You will have to change some settings on the television and this is how you would do that. In order to use the auxiliary in to play television audio through the speaker, you'll want to press the menu button on your TV, then use the volume buttons to navigate over to the audio menu. Use the channel buttons to select the TV speaker menu, and then use the volume button again in order to turn the TV speaker off. Once you're done, press menu one more time and that will save your settings. Next, we have the time button. This can be used to set the time on the clock radio. You would press and hold this button and then press it to continue cycling through the options until you get the time. You can press this top button to adjust the hour and then you can press this bottom button to adjust the minutes. Next, we have the buttons that control both of our zones. Some campers do only have one zone, but some do have two. If you're not getting sound for any reason, you'll want to check the, that make sure both these zones are enabled. The Jensen screen does stay powered on even when in sleep mode, so you can adjust the dimmer settings if you're sleeping and you'd like to turn the light lower. To do this, press and hold the zone button. When it switches, go ahead and continue to press until you see the dim level. You can use your seek buttons to change the light level and adjust that down to make it less distracting at night. If you have any issues or questions on the Jensen radio system, please feel free to shoot us an email here at NewCamp. Our email address is tech at newcampbarbie.com. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed our video.